Did you recently learn that you have been posting all of the wrong things on social media when it comes to promoting your product, service, or business? And you're wondering, what the heck do I do? Do I go back and do I erase all of the months or years of posting all of the wrong things? Well, in this episode, I'm gonna be giving you two options on what to do and explaining what your options are if you finally realize that you've been posting all of the wrong things on social media. So stay tuned. Welcome to episode 104. My name is Tanya Aliza and I help entrepreneurs and network marketers create success fast while most importantly designing a lifestyle that you love. So if you're new here, consider subscribing because I put out a brand new episode and free resource for you and your business each and every week. So I teach a lot of social media when it comes to building my business online and helping you to build your business online as well, because social media is really the way of the future. It has changed the world in how we communicate with each other and also how we do business. And so I know a lot of people have heard my trainings before, and then I get a lot of messages from people that say, Tanya, what do I do if I've been doing it all wrong? Should I go and re erase all of the, the wrong things that I've posted, all of the things with my company name and my salesy billboardy stuff that is on my social media. Do I spend all my time going back and erasing and fixing everything or really what should I do? So here are what your options are. Option number one, you could spend weeks or yes, months on this non-income producing activity of sitting in front of your cell phone or your computer, mindlessly going back to all of your old posts and erasing everything. Delete, 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 delete. Or option number two, which is what I highly recommend that you do, just move forward. Because the reality of it is, is your posts that you're doing on social media, they're getting shuffled down the newsfeed so far down every time you post something new that nobody's really going to see your posts that you've done three or four months ago. Hmm, I wonder what Jordan was doing three months ago. Oh, three months ago. Nope, that's only one week ago. However, a highly recommended tip that I have is you may consider if you have a photo album that you've created on your newsfeed or in your page that is overly salesy and promotional. And if you have a lot of those images where you're just kind of doing flash sales and it's just really looking overly promotional, you may consider diving into your photo albums and maybe getting rid of those or getting rid of some of those photos there. But I wouldn't worry about going too deep in your actual newsfeed posts. So just look for anything with the name of your company or the name of your products that you were overly promotional with on your newsfeed and just eliminate that. And if you're watching this video right now and you're like, Tanya, why wouldn't I wanna be talking about my company name or my product names and you happen to be in network marketing, I'm gonna to link to a previous episode where I shared the importance of not ever talking about your company name or product names. This is really important. I still see network marketing companies and leaders train their teams to share all about the network marketing company name and the products names um, when you should, in my opinion, be branding your name and putting out value posts, not promotional posts. So if you still don't know what I mean when I say you shouldn't be talking about your company name or your products names, make sure a link in the show notes below. Uh, you want to go back to one of the previous episodes where I shared why you do not want to be sharing your company name or your product's name on social media. Now in every episode of Tanya Eliza TV, I like to make sure that I equipped you with a free downloadable resource that will help you amplify your results. In this episode, we're talking a lot about what to do if you've been posting on Facebook or social media incorrectly, but I want to equip you with the right post. I want to equip you with what you should be posting so that you get curiosity based posts where people actually ask you for more information and want to do business with you. So in today's episode, I am going to put together something amazing for you that you are absolutely going to love and you're totally going to want to share with your team. It's my 25 Facebook post ideas 
is to help you get more interest when it comes to your products, services, or business. And if you'd like to pick that up, it's absolutely free and it's ready for you over on my blog at tanyaliza.com forward slash 104 download, the number 104 download. We will leave a link above or below this video in the resources or description section. If you're on my YouTube channel or my Facebook page watching this video, it'll take you to the blog. There'll be a big yellow button right below this video. Click that button and we'll deliver to you my 25 Facebook post ideas. Really, you can use it for any social media platform as well that will help you generate interest for your product, service, or business. Here's another little super tip to help you along the way in your social media efforts. You wanna make sure that your social media profile is set up to win, right? You want people asking you about your business and asking you about your products, right? So you gotta have your Facebook profile set up to win. And we have a previous episode over on the blog that will help you set up your Facebook profile so that you can gain a lot of interest when it comes to your product, service, or business. This is a very important piece of the puzzle. I definitely wanted to include it for you here in this episode. So we'll leave a link for that episode in the show notes below in the, in the description box, in the resource section, wherever you're watching this video, just scroll below and you'll find that resource for you as well. So here's a little super tip for my overachievers in business and you know who you are. So I would suggest if you've been posting all the wrong stuff on social media, posting all the wrong stuff, it's overly promotional and you're like, oh my goodness, what am I ever going to do to recover all of the people that I might have blown out of the water? My suggestion to you is to do a Facebook Live. Yes, do a Facebook Live and just apologize for knowing now what you didn't know before. And just come out and say, look guys, I started a business X amount of months ago or X amount of years ago, and unfortunately, I didn't know how to market that business properly. However, today I'm very excited. I know how to market this business properly, and I just wanted to come out on my Facebook profile, and I wanted to just apologize to you. If you were um, one of the people that saw my overly promotional posts that were kind of like in your face, I just wanna say I'm really sorry. I didn't know how to properly market my products or my business. However, I've invested a lot into my knowledge knowledge and I've invested a lot into my business. I'm very passionate about what I'm doing. I want to make sure that I'm doing it right. So I've learned how to market my business and my products most effectively. And I just want to say, if you felt the grunt of my overly promotional posts in the last little while, I am truly sorry. Now, what I would do on that Facebook live is if you can put together a little resource or something of value that you can give your people absolutely free and have them comment or message you for more information and have that be congruently in line with maybe one of your products or services that you offer, you can generate a lot of humble interest that way. And some people will probably even buy from you because they see that you're invested to learning how to do your business properly. So that's a little super, super tip for all of my overachievers out there in business. And just remember, you are selling lifestyle. I don't care what business you're in in network marketing, it's all all about lifestyle, fun, and value. So those should be the types of posts that are present on your Facebook newsfeed if you want people to actually love what you're posting. And I know that you want people to love what you're posting. So don't look like that cheesy infomercial, though that used car salesman, or overly promotional, overhyped person that just got started in their business. Please, but now you know what to do, hopefully because of a couple of my videos that came your way. And then just make sure that I got your back. I've got your back with giving you 25 Facebook post ideas to help you create interest for your product, service, or business. So don't forget to pick that up. You will absolutely love it. It's free and you can get it over on the blog at tanyaliza.com forward slash 104 download. Question of the week. Did you have to do a social media pivot? What did you do and what worked really well for you? I love to hear your story in the comment section below. Other, other people here would probably like to hear your story as well to know that they're maybe not the only ones that had to do a social media pivot and maybe you have some awesome tips that you can share. So drop us a comment below. I would love to hear what you did. So did you get some value out of today's episode? I truly hope that you did. If you did, make sure to share it with your team. Make sure to share the love and like it or share it via one of the social media share links above, below, or around this video. And I will see you on the next episode of Tanya Eliza TV.